Jenna is a gymnast and she loves it so much she is going to complete the entire ABCs of gymnastics, including her fave skills, wow. yummy snacks, oh no, it's amazing. some juicy secrets, and then on Friday I saw Mia and more. But my big sis Mia is a rock climber, so she's going to be attempting my 26 gymnastics challenges. But she only has three lives and she'll lose one each time she fails a challenge. So let's see if she can make it all the way to Z with me. Concentrate, because there's a missing letter. So you guys have to comment the missing letter below for a chance to win the mystery prize. A is for Ariel. Woo! But there's one problem. I can't actually fully do an Ariel yet. I've been practicing. It let's just awesome. hope it doesn't turn into A&E, bandage and cast. <laughs> right, you ready? Go on, Sienna. I know you got this. Go on, you can do it. It's okay. close. That was really impressive to me. I don't think I could ever do that, which is really bad, but I'm going to try. Okay. So one by point, and it's going to be A and E for me too. <laughs> I did not like that the moment where I was upside down and not touching the floor, right? Mia, you lost half a life. I'm not going okay. to make you lose a whole life because I can't quite do it yet either. B is for Fat Bed. And I'm actually <laughs> expecting you to do good in this one because you used to be able to do this, but I'm not sure if she can do it still. I'm really scared. Okay. Show us how it's done. Oh, did you hear my back crack? I'm even more scared now the fact her back cracked. Oh my gosh, what? I can't do you that. You don't have to do the last bit. The okay. last bit was just me showing up. Right, <laughs> ready? Yeah, keep looking at your hands. Oh, I said well done! It. You did! Your yeah. head didn't touch the floor. No, it didn't. That was actually really good. Thank Don't you. worry, you didn't lose a life for that. Mia, can you do this? No. <laughs> okay. What's for C? That. It's called a um no, <laughs> a Crabosaurus. Yeah, I'm I'm a Okay, that one. fine. C's cartwheel. Okay. This one I can do. In fact, I was the one that taught Sienna how to do a cartwheel. Oh no, it's five. Why am I scared though? Straight legs. Oh, you did like a jump from so that was good. Oh. High five. <laughs> D is for diary, and apparently Sienna is saying that she can't find hers, but I think that's it's all an excuse because she doesn't bag. want to have to show us what's in her diary. No, seriously, it is usually my gymnastics bag. Mmm, yeah, or, is it? Or in my desk drawer. Is it now? Okay, it's in my desk drawer. My I gymnastics diary. She was trying to get away with it. No, I wasn't. I honestly couldn't find it. And where's your diary? Um, nowhere. I don't have one. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Okay, fine, I'll go get mine. I'm pretty sure she writes down her crush in a diary. I found it. I can't wait to read you this really interesting thing which I wrote in it. It's okay. so interesting. Okay, you ready? Read it. Two by shoe insoles, makeup wipes, toothbrush, plug adapter, aloe vera, because I was severely burnt. Oh. I'll read you my diary then. Right, let's find the last okay. entry. So on Monday, I oh I snuck in Mia's room and then I watched her and then she was <laughs> and then she was looking on Instagram and hearting all these boys' pictures. And then on Tuesday, just joking. <laughs> okay, I was trained 17.5, and on Monday, I did beam, air track, and front handspring work and vault. And then on Tuesday, I did air track and trampoline. Wednesday, I did beam, air track, games, and flicks on, mm. on like the roller. Flicks back handsprings, by the way. On Thursday, I did air track, trampoline, peanut rolls on the trampoline, games, and round offs. Ooh, fun. Oh, and also conditioning, I did a plank for three minutes. Wow, that's impressive. I don't think I can do that. And then on Friday, I saw Mia, and, <laughs> and I followed her, and she. <laughs> Mia was practicing kissing. In a room, I saw her. <laughs> That's not me, that's you. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. B is for elbow stand. I've been practicing this a lot lately, and it's purely about balance. So, okay. good luck. And wish me luck too. Go on, Sia, you can do it. Oh my gosh. Can you try? I'll try. Yeah, and then you um, kick. Yeah. Do you want to do a little bit of pep? No. Okay. No. Are you sure? I've got this. I'm going to do it. You just need to hit the, like... <laughs> <laughs> Can I do it? It kind of feels like I'm doing it. I'm sorry to say, but you didn't actually do it. I did. Do you want me to 
just show you what it he felt was doing. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. Yeah. I feel like you lost your life for that because. So now I only have a life and a half left. I think that Mia should only lose half a point for that because yeah. technically Sienna like didn't even hold it for one second so I feel like to be fair Mia just loses half okay, a point. Okay, yeah. yeah. I agree with that. F is for front handspring. <laughs> Your turn! This isn't fair at all because I've never even tried this and I need more space than you and this is hard floor which is not a good thing to try for your first time. I must admit I found it hard with space though. But you're not that much taller than me, see? She's like okay. practically the same height as me. Right, I'll try. Come I'll on, you try. can do it. And the whole point of the I'm challenge really is really trying things. Okay. Just like... I mean, what do you think, Dad? She lost her life. Yeah. I, I agree. <laughs> G is for gym bag. So this is my gymnastics bag. And Eva says I know, it. I love it. Every time I look at it, I get so excited because I love it so much. Aww. Uh, so inside, I have my gymnastics diary, which is meant to be kept inside. You didn't hear that. You don't know where it's kept. <laughs> and then I have my lunch box. Treat you for lunch. Ooh. I have my water bottle. Fun fact, it's actually a flask, so I could put hot chocolate or something in there. And then I have my spare club leotard because one time my leotard whipped and got a massive hole in it while I was at a competition, so that wasn't very good. Well, not while I was at a competition, but right before I went to the competition. So I can't believe it. I just noticed the like Too stringy well. bit coming out. Now I always keep a spare one in my bag just in case. I have my umbrella in here for some reason. I don't always keep this in here, but last time I went to gymnastics it was raining so I brought it with me and then I have my spare strap for the bag and then I have my toiletry bag which has some goodies in it that looks so like aesthetic well I don't know if you can tell but my favorite color is pink at the back there's a secret pocket and what's in the secret pocket oh my pen okay that's a bit boring so that's what's in my gymnastics bag this is my gym bag not oh, wow. nearly as pretty as Sienna's but very practical one. Of course, you have to have one. So I have my liquid chalk. I should really buy some actual chalk chalk because it's meant to be way better, but this is good because it's longer lasting. I have my very fancy, beautiful looking rock climbing shoes. Look how delicious these shoes are. These ones are actually a little bit too big for me, so I'm gonna buy some new rock climbing shoes soon because it's really important to have them where they're basically crushing your feet, whereas these, there are actually gaps in my feet. So you could always have them after me if you want, because since your feet are a little bit bigger, it'll probably oh, fit you better. Thank you. I have some tape. <laughs> One of the babies must have got hold of this and decided to add some art <laughs> decor to it. This is really good if you've been climbing loads and you like put it on your fingers. I've never actually used it, but you know. Then I have a hair cloth, my keys. And look at this little key fob. Sienna actually gave this to me because my key fob broke recently. My lock for my locker. Are I have sure my wallet. Not a love lock? Guys, do you want to see what my ID picture looks like? It's really bad, but. Yeah. Oh no, it's a nice picture. I have some gum. And uh, my bag doesn't even have any zips on it. It's actually funny because I use both chalk and tape in gymnastics, but the chalk, they usually supply it there. H is for handstand. I want to go first this time because I think I can do this. Okay. Ta da! Well I'm done. Jump that was really good. Your turn. Okay. Wow, you really held that as well. I'm not jealous at all. I is for injury. So now I'm gonna go and injure myself on purpose. What? And you too. <laughs> No. No, just no. joking. So I've never actually gotten any like proper injuries. Like, I've never broken any bones, but at my last competition, I did a back bend and then something like pulled in the muscle, I think, but it wasn't really bruised, but it really hurt while I was doing a back bend. Oh, so no. luckily I was able to complete the competition, but afterwards it was really hurting. That's really scary that it can happen like at the worst time on the day. Of I the know, I was like, also, didn't your friend recently completely break her arm and it was in a cast from doing an aerial? Yeah, she tried to do an aerial and and she broke her arm and then it was like all bent. Oh Luckily it's okay now, but it's in a cast, so. That sounds really I scary. <laughs> Jay is for juice. Ta -da! Juices and smoothies are really good if you're a gymnast because when they have protein powder in, they make you really energized and also they're full of vegetables. This one has avocado and guess what? It's blue, 
but mm. it's got blue spirulina in it, which is really cool. It actually comes from underneath the seat. And we've come to Joe and the Juice. We've also got these little bites here. So this is cocoa. And, and this is cake and that. Mmm, should we try them? Yeah. I've actually never tried this before, so I'm excited. This is what you get, it's your little gymnast. <gasps> wow, it looks like it's got red stuff on it. Yeah, it feels mm. like it gives me energy. Now I'm going to be able to do all the moves. K is for kickover. So, did it. No, it's where you go back into a bridge and then you kick your leg over. Okay. It's mainly about your back. Are you picking out rude? You don't have to back bend if you don't want to. Um, careful you don't kick the wardrobe. I need to go forward a little bit. So I'll just speak in a back bend now. So I'll just speak in a back one. Back bend. And then bring your hands as close as you can. Okay. Oh, <laughs> hey. You look like you were like really dizzy and struggled with that. How am um, I gonna be able to do no, that? No, it's just, um, I'll, I'll try. Right, I might need you to help me. That's not cheating, that's just making it fair. Okay, I know you're not that back flexible, but you need to come forward. Yeah, that's it. It's not really about, ow. Which leg do you kick with? Okay, I can't do one. it. Okay, go up. I can't do it. No, I, I, I can't even try. I'm so like, that really I'll hurts and I can't over. do it. I'll help you and I go back. I can't. You can, just oh, try. I can't, I'm gonna hurt myself. Come on, you can do it. You can. Say it. She's shouting at me. Say I it. I need you to really, really help me though. Say it, Mia. I can do it. I need to go the other side, I think. What? you Mia so I tell you what if you could do one of the challenges that are coming up better than me then you get life back okay I'll try L is for leotard <laughs> and I'm gonna give a haul of all of my leotards this is my I'm blue so one jelly with a little leotards. skirt it's so pretty um, I really like this one. But that might be my favorite. It's a little bit too small, so it's very tight. And then I have this purple and black and white and sparkly oh, that one. That one's so pretty as well. Yeah, I really like this one. I usually um, like wear this one for training. I usually wear this one at home though because it's very fancy, like very <laughs> extra. And then this is my club leotard. This is the one that I keep in my drawer and the other one is what I keep in my bag. And then, this pink one, which is actually the same as the purple, but just in pink. Ooh, that's so pretty. And then, this might be my You're favorite. You're so pretty. I know. This might be oh, my favorite this butterfly I one. Love it. With the sparkles at the top. I really like this one. That's and really it fits pretty. me perfectly. And then, of course, I have the one I'm wearing with the really pretty back. <laughs> that's pretty. For rock climbing, I also wear leotards. No, I don't. <laughs> In fact, I actually wear these leggings all the time and the annoying thing about it is the first time I wear it, it will get really, really plucked because it's all like grippy wool. It gets really plucked immediately. That's sad. I know. M might be my favorite because it's <laughs> middle splits. Uh-oh. And these are my best splits. You ready? So yes, a demonstration. So oh my gosh. <laughs> this already hurts. That is crazy. You don't have to hold it for that long if you don't want to. Okay, ready? This is my demonstration. Ta-da! That was good. You did actually get really low. Yeah, come on. I mean, yeah. That was all right, wasn't it? Okay, that was actually really good. I didn't know you were that flexible. Thank you. High five. N is for nut free snack. Ta da! How come we need a nut free snack, Sienna? Because at gymnastics, you're not allowed nuts because some people are allergic to them. So we just have to have nut free snacks. And sometimes that's a bit awkward because I love peanut butter. Fun fact <laughs> about me we've got these um, plant based protein chocolate fudge bars. These Ooh. are amazing. I always have these at gymnastics. This looks really delicious. And I've never even tried it before, but I do feel a bit scared. Like we have to be quiet because if mum hears us eating chocolate in the forbidden room. <laughs> <laughs> this is the white this sofa, room. aka you're not allowed to eat in here or do anything. You're not even allowed to breathe in here. It's got chocolate chunks in it. I oh, know, it's amazing. I'm even more super powered now. <laughs> oh, it's for Olympics. One day I really want to be in the Olympics in that gymnastics, so of course. And I actually did a video where I ate Olympic gymnasts diet all day. So you should watch Ooh. that one after this one. <laughs> P is for ponytail. I have a ponytail on my hair every single day for gymnastics. So you're gonna be trying to do it really slick. And I feel like she's gonna be good at this because she's really good at hair. 
I am good at hair, but I never really do a slick pack ponytail. However, I did buy this hair gel recently, and I did do a slick back ponytail, and I actually really liked it, so I'm excited to okay. practice once again. Start by parting my hair. So first of all, I brush it with that hair brush. I have like three hair brushes for this. Do it really tight. Let me see, because I haven't even looked in the mirror once. I'm gonna get some of my liquid hair gel. Slick back my hair. Oh my gosh, it's going through my fingers. This is not going well. Then I get this one and like smooth it out. I use hair serum instead of gel, but I probably should get gel. Yeah, I think that would make a big difference for you. Because hair serum just makes your hair slippery. Gel actually holds it in place. Then I just put absolutely tons on. By the way, Dad, you're gonna be the judge of who's has the most slick, so. Excuse me, can I use the mirror? Then I actually take my hair out of the pony. I know it's a weird way of doing it, but I find it helps to put the hair gel in with the pony, then neaten up the actual pony itself, then put it back in, then I'm done. Please look good, please look good. I can't even see. Can I borrow some of your gel? I feel like that's not fair, but sure. <laughs> no, I feel bad because your slick sticks run out, so you can use some. Thanks. Yeah, I do usually use this, which is like a stick of gel. So I'm really annoyed it ran out. Thank you, Mia. And if I get to use your little brush. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Guys, is it slick enough? Who do you think won this? Who's got the more slick ponytail? <laughs> Dad, what's your opinion? I have no clue how I'm supposed to judge this. Like, both of their hair is slicked back. What do you want me to say? The one that's tightest to the head. Tightest the to the head is probably Sienna's. Mia's has got a bit more volume on it. But, but is that because hair. Mia's hair is thicker? I don't know. Whose is the neatest? They are both equal. Genuinely, Fizz fam, I'm not being diplomatic, am I? They're both really neat. So, draw. Okay, well, I guess I don't get another point from this one, but. Q is for Q&A. I'm now gonna Ooh. ask you guys to ask me some questions about gymnastics on Instagram. Are you ready to be questioned by the Fizz fam? Who is your role model in gymnastics? Oh, that's an easy one, Simone Biles. Can Sienna do a flip on the trampoline? Yeah, I can, and I love doing flips. I can do a front flip, not back flip. Yeah. Can you do a back handspring? Oh, that's another thing. I'm very close. I've been practicing loads at gymnastics class, and I really want to be able to do it on floor by myself soon. How long have you been doing gymnastics? By the way, I love all of your content. Thank you, Kimberly. Oh, that's nice. Um, I've been doing it for 11 months. What is your favorite gymnastics trick? That is definitely easy. Front handspring. Well, handspring in general. Are you going to be doing competitions next season? Yes, definitely. I've got one in December. December. Yeah, December. Can you do the splits? Yeah, I can. I can do the middle splits and I can do the front splits. On one leg, the other leg, I'm super close. <laughs> so that's really getting into the mood for the letter S. Which, which is... is the Sienna. No, we're doing the Scorpion. <laughs> this is one of my favorite poses or like moves. So your foot is the um the, stinger. Yeah, the stinger. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. <laughs> you can try and look up. Like wow. I don't know if I'll be able to do it that much, but I'll try my best. Okay. So do you use the same hand or the opposite hand? Um, same hand. Okay. Right. Ready. Ow. That was actually really good. Did I do it? I feel like I probably did sort of do it. Yeah, you did. But you still have no lives, so um, you're still amazing, but oh. you have no lives currently. T is for track. In the rain. Woo when you're a gymnast, you've got to keep real fit, haven't you? Yeah. I Maybe if I ever said real fit. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know. American. I usually <laughs> see the track like once a week. I do squids. So let's go. U is for ups, aka pull ups. Pull ups. Shall I go first? Or are you okay. going first? You go first. No, you go first. No, you go first. No, I want you to go first. I really want you to go first. Okay. Why do I feel like you're going to tickle me? No, I'm going to Okay. Ready? Pull ups. 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 Go on, go on, you're so good. Oh my gosh, wow, that was amazing. Go on. I can do two. Go on. Go on. You can do it, you can do it. Oh, Pull ups are so hard. Okay, I'm gonna have an actual go now without yeah. you tickling me. I will do it. That's so I mean. Promise. Okay. One. She's really good. <laughs> Three. High five. 
Am I allowed that bonus life now? Yeah, you are. You beat me and by a long shot. That was really good. Aww. Thank you. Well, that rock climbing made you strong. <laughs> v is for V sit. V sit is a conditioning move and it really hurts your core. I want to show you how many you can done. do. Oh my gosh, this looks hard. Five. I'm gonna do ten. See if you can do more than I've got more. to try and do 10, so it's like this. You fold that. Yeah, that was good. One, or I don't know. Two. Two. Three. Keep your legs tight together. Oh. It's really hard. I know. It's hard to get the right balance, like, of if you're too high. I can do it like that. that. That's really getting my cool doing like that but I, I can't know. like the full V sit is really hard because my balance I know, we do the main, over there. We do the full conditioning at gymnastics class and it is really difficult. You definitely did really well on that one Sienna. Thanks. W is for worm and we've got the worm expert here. Hang on it's a worm break dancing though not gymnastics. Um, it's actually you do the worm to learn a different move called a fish roll so technically the worm isn't used in gymnastics but we did actually learn it at gymnastics class to be able to learn the fish roll. Okay. Okay. All right. Any excuse for me get to have another practice, but I am already like um, having my excuses. Yesterday I did a really intense upper body workout. Just back. show us how it's done. I, my arms are so I sore. Said, I said. I Come on, show us how it's done, Mum. Oh, fish bag. This is a work in progress. Do it. Do it. I love his version of it. Go and show us your worm cover. Okay, he's, he's, he's turning into worm. Show us your worm cover, go go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'll try next. Go Mia. I don't get it. I don't have the coordination It's like a flow to it, it's a rhythm. I can't do it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll show you. I just don't understand. You did it stiff. I don't have the coordination to do things like that. Okay, if you are looking at me, it's my turn. In gymnastics, we learn the moving one, but I'll try the static one that Mum did. <laughs> I have a little story to tell us what happened at gymnastics the other day. I have no <laughs> It's nothing to do with this, okay? It is. At gymnastics class, while I was doing vault, um, something <laughs> embarrassing happened. So I was running up to do vault, and then I was doing handstand flat back, and instead of my legs going on the vault table, they just went whack right into this boy's shoulder blade and he probably has a giant bruise from it. It technically wasn't my fault because he was told to move out the way of the vault thing but he didn't move out the way so yeah it's still but very bad. skipping over the fact of it was just a boy. Was it just a boy? Yes it was. Was it really? It that? was. That's not what you told me afterwards. No I did not. I just told you what I just said. Why is for yoga? <laughs> And while she peacefully does her tree pose, I think that's what it's called. Yep. So for yoga, I don't actually do yoga that often, but it is similar to gymnastics. And sometimes I do like stretches and that, like from yoga. So one of my faves is, I think this is called the camel. You know the one where you go back? Oh yeah, I think it is. I love, I love that one. one. Or camel's heart or something like that. It's meant to open your heart chakra, isn't it? You look queen right now. A little fish from. I don't actually know any other yoga poses. Cat cow. Cat. This is cat. Oh, in gymnastics we and call that angry doggy. cat happy cat. This is doggy. This is cobra. Oh, I swear. I thought that was seal. 
I don't know. You're meant to be the expert. You're the gymnast. I'm the only expert in yoga. <laughs> Z is for Z. Don't forget to call in the missing letter. <laughs> Hi, Sienna. Hi. It's my bed now. Oh, yeah. I just left your bed. Wait, Yours no, is a double. You. <laughs> <laughs> when you're gymnast, you need lots of rest. 